Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use continuously rasterize to make sure that your vector layers or graphics that you bring in from programs such as Adobe Illustrator are nice and sharp. And I will also show you how to use collapsible transformations, which is very similar to continuously rasterize but is when you are dealing with nested compositions or pre-comps. So here is a logo that I created in Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector graphic, which means that I should be able to scale this as big as I want or make it as small as I want without losing any quality. So if I select the layer and tap on S for the scale property and I scale up this logo, you can see how blurry and pixelated it looks. The fix is very easy in Adobe After Effects. Come down to the layer panel. You're looking for this little star icon. If you don't see it, click on this button right here, toggle switches and modes, or use the keyboard shortcut F4, then just click in the box. And just like that, your vector graphics will be nice and sharp. So if you are using Illustrator or vector files in your Adobe After Effects and they're looking blurry and pixelated like that, if I click in the box, you will see it changes to continuously rasterize. You've got that little star button in the box. When I let go, now it looks like a vector graphic should. So when you have a vector graphic on its own layer and you click in the box under the star, that is called continuously rasterize. If we do the exact same thing, but on a nested composition or a pre-comp, so if I click on the box now on the star tool, you will see now it is called collapse transformations. It's doing the exact same thing as the continuously rasterize, only it is doing it for all of the layers inside of this nested composition. So if I double click on this, you just need to make sure that all of the individual layers have continuously rasterized. You'll see here if I uncheck them and go back to the main comp, they're blurry even though I have this box checked. If I go back into the pre-comp or the nested comp and turn on the continuously rasterized for all the layers again and go back to the main comp, you'll see now it's nice and sharp. So solo layers, it's called continuously rasterize. And for nested comps or pre-comp, when you click on the button, it's called collapse transformations. So continuously rasterize will fix those vector files that look all blurry and pixelated. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2020. Cheers.